Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day, and in my hands is one of those releases. It's Artemis and the Assassin number five, wrapping up the Aftershock series. And honestly, this one kind of fell a little flat for me. So, it's written by uh, Stephanie Phillips. Francesca Fantini is the artist. Lauren Affey is the colorist. And a large world's Troy Pateri is the letter. So for those who have not been uh, paying attention to the series, the this concept is there's like a future assassin sent back to kill uh, one of the most decorated uh, female heroes of World War II. Uh, this person named Virginia Hall was a real person. Uh, and to stop her from delivering a message and thus changing history. We eventually kind of learn sort of the reasons, but like overall, this is a series that I liked the concepts more than the execution, and there was a lot of really good concepts in it. Um, it was it was a, a comic that had some cool tri uh, time travel aspects, some nice like buddy buddy I don't want to say buddy buddy cop, but like that sort of uh, back and forth between uh, Artemis and the assassin, uh, and this whole like some of the history and all that worked really really well. It didn't work as a five-issue series. There just was not enough time to flesh out the ideas. There was not enough real time to kind of flesh out the characters. And I never think, never, uh, I don't think it ever really nailed down exactly what it wanted to be. And I, I really want to stick to that like idea, and I, or I'm sticking to that idea because at the end, uh, the creator writer uh, has a little bit talking about the series and how this. Uh, idea that you want she wanted to use Virginia Hall in a story, which is great. Like I don't know Virginia Hall's story at all, and this uh, concept of uh, mixing up fact and fiction, which is a really cool idea. But you know, the the fact it wasn't enough really there, um, and then it focused on the fiction a lot, but never really gave good motivation to the fiction, and like it just kind of. I'm trying to think, there was a there was a, there was a movie or television show or cartoon or whatever, and like there was a point where they're just kind of jumping through portals and going to different time periods and worlds and just escaping, like running, and that's kind of what they felt the comic felt like. And eventually, when we get to like the big bad, and, and I think it was the previous issue, we learn a little bit of his history, and it just never quite clicks as to like really what he's doing or why he's doing it, and. Like, the motivation's not there. Like, why are we changing history other than to, to, like, profit, I guess? Like, it's just... I feel like the the reasoning behind a lot of this stuff just was never... Like, the argument's not there, I think. I think that's the best way of what looking at is The argument for the story isn't there. Like, we never get a strong sense as to why the bad guy is doing what they're doing. Like, what is the goal? What will change? What will... Uh, how will they benefit? Um, you know, what's the Bond villain's benefit? Like, what what is their goal, and how, how are they going to get, like, rich off of their scheme? Like, that, to me, never quite clicked. You know, the back and forth between the two characters were decent, but then again, like, it would never quite as well got to that depth where I really cared about the relationship. Um, they, the, the back and forth, it was, it, was, it was okay, but, like, it, I never got the sense that they really cared about each other or you know, really, they, you know, eventually start defending each other and all that, but, like, it never quite got the sense as to the, it, there, there was just never an emotional connection, I think is probably the great way of thinking about it, so, like, it just, it's a series that I really like the concepts, and I, and there's moments I really like, single issues I really like, but I think overall it just doesn't quite click. Part of it is because it's five issues, like, I think if this was an ongoing and can have arcs focus on, you know, certain aspects, things would be so much better. Um, you know, we're doing, still doing flashbacks in the fifth issue, kind of explaining motivation and history. Um, and we can see the art, like, the art is decent, like, it, it's, it's pretty solid art, you know, that was never really an issue for the comic, but, you know, it was just never, I don't know, like, it, for, for a series with, like, future and past and, I guess, present and, it, it also never quite took advantage of all that as far as the artistic style and... And, I mean, you can hear it, like, I wanted to like the series, but by the final issue, like, I just, something to me feels like it's missing and just, it didn't quite click, so. In my opinion, this isn't one to really go check out, you know, even when it gets collected as trade, it's not probably one I would recommend. Um, you know, I, I generally like, our, you know, Aftershock stuff, but this one, this one falls a little flat, to, to be perfectly honest, so. 
It is what it is. Can't all be winners. Silly. Uh, so this is out in comic shops now. You can go get it. You got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links where you can purchase. And doing that, you help support our site. So thank you. And so being smart, I want to thank Aftershock for uh, hooking us up with the review copy. Uh, we always appreciate it, you know, and appreciate you still doing that even when they're negative reviews. Um, credit where credit's due. And uh, as always, thank you for watching as well. Uh, if you are into comics, if you're into Aftershock, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.